Like DeSantis wouldn't be here, but for him and all these people are out saying, oh, it's DeSantis' party. But unfortunately for him, it looks like it's DeSantis' party, right? With Florida Governor Ron DeSantis topping Donald Trump and Republican presidential straw polls, the verbal exchanges are growing. I think he would drop that. And if I faced him, I'd beat him like I would beat everyone else, frankly. Trump henchman Roger Stone is adding this. The Trump revolution has just begun. We're not, we're just warming up. But with the prospects of a Trump-DeSantis battle heating up, more attention is coming to DeSantis' Florida gubernatorial re-election campaign in 2022, a crucial step for a potential DeSantis presidential campaign two years later. And Roger Stone is now threatening to kneecap DeSantis in 2022 from the right. Quote, if Florida Governor Ron DeSantis does not order an audit of the 2020 election to expose the fact there are over 1 million phantom voters in the Florida voter rolls in the Sunshine State, I may be forced to seek the Libertarian Party nomination for Governor of Florida in 2022. Trump won Florida by a wide margin, and DeSantis himself has noted there was an automatic audit in the state in 2020 that found the Florida vote was accurate. Quote, it passed with flying colors. But Roger Stone is notoriously ruthless and unpredictable, alternatively praising and condemning DeSantis in the same breath. To my surprise, given his background as a Yale graduate and his opposition to President Donald Trump in 2016, Ron DeSantis has turned out to be an excellent governor, certainly superior to Rick Scott and much, much better than Charlie Crist. But the Democrat Crist is running again for governor in 2022, and if Stone runs as a libertarian, it could split the votes with DeSantis on the right, causing DeSantis to lose his re-election and give Crist a victory. And that would be fatal to DeSantis for a presidential campaign. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Perhaps the abbreviated way to think about Roger Stone's pressure on Ron DeSantis is that Stone does not think DeSantis is crazy enough. And according to Trump's henchmen, DeSantis needs to show more fealty and respect to Donald Trump. Somehow conducting another audit of the Florida vote in 2020 that Trump won would help DeSantis prove that fealty to Trump. I know, it's bizarre, but this is the world of Roger Stone and the right-wing nutcases that support Donald Trump. They are still convinced, without any evidence, there was widespread voting fraud across the United States that brought down Trump's numbers even in states he won. And promoting that the election was fraudulent everywhere, the big lie, that is what the Trumpsters are demanding. If you're a governor who wants to maintain your current standing among Republicans, never mind your political future. Ron DeSantis has largely ignored Roger Stone's threats and continues to say there should not be another audit in Florida of the 2020 election results. And so, the tensions between Trumpsters and DeSantis are growing. And a 2022 proxy war involving a wild man like Roger Stone is on the horizon.